So when this this is so Clemps, I'm gonna blow Clemps up here. He was, uh, he was staying. He was staying here with us uh, last week, and Clemps has never traveled before, except he took a bus to France once. But he's in the UK, so fucking what? You take the channel, right? Yeah, whatever. It's like going to Toronto. Um, and he was like, "Oh, you know, I heard from Britons that." If I drink the tap water here, I could get horribly ill. Oh, my God. So we had him drinking fucking bottled water okay. the whole time he was here until we ran into Volta. And Volta's, like, from South America. And he's like, what are you, fucking stupid? That's ridiculous. <laughs> that's, the, that's ridiculous. You fucking Canadian yeah. tap water? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not like you're in fucking Tijuana, Clems. You you privileged little bitch, baby. Everybody, I'm paraphrasing here. Yeah. No, that's that's. There are certainly countries where you do want to be concerned about uh, uh, Montezuma's revenge, and and so on, the 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 parasites and things that your stomach has not developed an immunity to. Do you think there's a place that has that cat parasite just in the water? Uh, toxoplasmosis. Yeah. Absolutely, it's called South America. Cool. That's a place where it's pretty rampant. I'm just saying. There's a couple other countries. I was hugging my cat yesterday, and I was like, man, I love this parasite. This parasite's yep. good for me. Yep. I should help other people get the parasite. Anyone, any countries where the the dancing is pretty aggressive? Very aggressive <laughs> dancing. You can assume toxoplasmosis has been here. <laughs> just think about that. Think about it that way. Look for the telltale signs. Carnival might as well just be a big fucking ad for toxoplasmosis. Oh my god, it's it's really what we're celebrating, the penetrata. It's this it's, it's a toxoplasmosis inspired dance is what it is. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that thing is horrifying, and you just try to not think about it. What is horrifying? The, the like, dancing? No, no, no. Like looking up the <laughs> Wikipedia article for toxoplasmosis. What's wrong with that? What? In terms of just like not realize, like you're like, how are we not all talking about this all the time? Because it makes you just love your cat, and your cat is pretty. But it's just like the idea of a parasite infecting such a large swath of the human population, Bully. and it's being sandbagged. Let, let me, let, let me. I guess it's kind of like HPV. HPV gets sandbagged I, I, a little like, bit too. There are an astonishing number of active toxins, poisons, parasites, and other ne'er do wells hanging out inside your guts right now. Yeah, your gut, but, 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 but your gut biome needs a lot of that yeah, for but healthy purposes. Some of them have got to be foreign. Certainly. But you you also build up immunity into and, and the one whatnot, that got right? me and I'm not I'm I now that I think about it and I'm about to say it live on the radio essentially, I'm now like, oh I hope this is true because it sounds crazy. But due to the nature of surface area, you have more bacteria and foreign gut biome cells mm -hmm. on the inside of you. Then you have cells that make up you because yes. every single surface is covered with them. Absolutely. So when you are, you're just basically a big bacteria, you're being controlled. You're just be, you're playing host. Yeah. And so not only that, but like there's all kinds of crazy shit that they're researching, including like poop transplants. Yeah. I was damn it. I, I knew. I, I thought you were gonna say something different, and then I was gonna go. Yeah. And also poop transplants. Yeah. yeah, put, yeah. Like the weird gross part. Yeah, yeah. You put the gross part in the other person, and then like they get healthier. And it helps if it's your mom or dad because you get to introduce like all kinds of crazy good shit that you didn't flora. have. Good gut flora. Good gut flora. There you go. It's crazy. It's really, really crazy how the body works in that way. Those weirdo sickies were onto something by accident. And and you know. The fact that, like, again, when I look at the, the, the whole Toxo thing and you just kind of think about how that can be something that was in the background of human development for so long. It's probably the reason why cats are barely domesticated, but we still love them and keep them. Like, <laughs> dogs became highly domesticated and have different behavior for humans as opposed to dogs. Yeah. Cats don't. Yeah. But, like, dogoplasmosis is awesome. Do there is no dogoplasmosis. <laughs> We're all on, but we all love that. Dogoplasmosis is, <laughs> hey, hey, uh, hey, Fido, you want to kill that cow together and get to live? And well, Doggo's like, yeah, that sounds like a cool deal. That's a good deal, but that doesn't explain the other thing where we look at a kitten or a puppy and then it makes you think of a human baby. Well, no, there is totally reasons for that, and it's that there are mammalian traits that like are broad. Right. And we and everything uh, every all mammals like got these like big eyes is cute. Yeah. Certain dimensions are cute. 
and they got them because oh you want to take care of your own kids but yeah. then it turns out they're like hopelessly broad right and of apply course. to nearly all mammals and even some non-mammals like that big that spider that's cute you know the one cute spider with the big eyes yeah, yeah, yeah i know the drums? one i know the one yeah yeah, yeah. but but the thing is that when you, when you um when you have these like you know kittens and puppies like they're triggering baby responses oh hell yeah they are humans. But other animals are not, and other young are not. Yeah, depends. You know? Baby pigs are really cute. Baby pigs are really cute. You see that baby pig wearing the little boots? Babe. The babe's cute. Babe's this cute pig. You got, uh, you know, the, um, um, uh, or, or Orton. I don't know. You know, that's a, that's a really Orton. cute pig. You call him Randy Orton. Uh, Orson, rather. Orson. <laughs> Orson's farm. You got uh, Charlotte's Web. and. Uh... Well, think about it this way, right? Uh, think of, like, uh, the good, ugliest good, bulldog good you've ever seen. Got it? Yeah. Like all jowly. Yeah. That is, from every aesthetic perspective, a hideous monstrosity created by man, not nature. Sure. And yet, when you see a little bulldog puppy, you're like, oh my god. You yeah. know, because yeah, yeah. The, it's got big eyes, it's furry, it's got it's, certain... It's, it's it, playing on all those inside, you know, like uh, uh, protection oh, yeah. needs and such. And, 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 and hey, like, you know, like more power to them. Like, again, like I, I feel... That the 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 fact that dogs can are born recognizing human figures as, as like, different, as, well, the, as different. But what I mean is that like there's been so they've been so domesticated for so long mm -hmm. that like human recognition is part of the dog's well, genetics. I mean, not e not even that. I mean, like you can go a step further. There's something that babies have called a triadic gaze, uh, which sounds like a fucking like DBZ move. But what it is. All it is is, Wooly, me and you, we're going to look over at that camera, right? Yep. Okay, we're looking at the camera. Say I'm the baby. I see you looking at the camera. Therefore, I look at the camera, and then I look back at you forming a triangle. Yeah. Right? That is a form of understanding, intent, and recognition. Yeah. Dogs have that with people, not just other dogs. Mm -hmm. Like, you can point at an object, and, and a then... dog can often intuit that pointing is look at this cats don't have that yeah yeah because yeah. cats are wild fucking animals still but dogs are like oh the person is pointing and that's innate because they've been around us for so long and they're good doggos and that's why palicos can go fuck themselves what is dude they are your pal <laughs> and they are also they're fine they're fine they're fine you know i just i just i thought i i love the idea of like you know that you're, you're like a, a hunting doggo buddy that you could put these little all these little costumes and things on oh yeah they'd be so much more effective and awesome well on a little hunting dog buddy i have two things for that, that one it's just a matter of the world we don't have as opposed to the one we do all right so it's not a problem with the present it's a strong preference for the alternative i have a complete answer to the why that is the case in Japan, with small living space. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, cats yeah. Cats are Under wildly more super popular. Super understood. And also, worldwide, super understood. cats are more popular. But, like, every time you see a video of, like, hey, man, that Palico just saved your life, imagine your dog doing that and yanking you out of the there's way. Also, there's also, How cool would that be? There's also a design problem with that, which is cat. Change the color of the cat. Make the cat a little furrier. Make yeah. the cat a little... Cat. Cat yeah. looks like a fucking cat. Cat's cat. Dog. What what dog, what yeah. dog? What yeah. dog are you gonna pick? Yeah, 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 yeah. You want a Newfie? You want well, a Great I mean, Dane? And here's the you thing: you want a Shih Tzu? No, no I know. Like uh, the crazy crack cat people are gonna be coming at you because they're gonna be like, no tabbies are distinctly different from oh Siamese uh, uh, Siamese uh, uh, cats and fucking those know. weird hairless abominations, those Egyptian things, and so on. And uh, Elmo's half Maine Coon, which is uh, means he's really Excuse big. Excuse me, he's Maine Coon. He's half Maine Coon, yeah. and um, that means he's really big and has fluffy paws. Like, yeah. the, the fur yeah. comes out of the paw pads. Yeah. Uh, all sorts of different yeah. cats. There's that awesome one that looks like it's part tiger. I think sure. that one's rad. But cat shape is, is defined. Is cat shape. And it is 10 to 20 pounds, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog shape runs wild yeah, extremes yeah, 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 yeah. from Megalodon Stegosaurus Pitbull to fucking um oh what's what like uh, uh, Benny or sure. Benny Small sure to you know uh, the 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 ones that like got the fucking alcohol on their on their you know on their what on their the next that save you in the in the cold 
Oh, Bernice. Yeah, yeah, and, and all that. You know, so but think about how much fun that would that character creator would be. It, well, I mean, okay, so okay, say in Monster Hunter, everything everything development wise, and if if you continue to follow the series, you will get to learn this. Everything's um, likelihood of existing in that game depends if they don't have to make a unique skeleton for it. Oh, god damn it! It's a matter of ease. It's a matter of well, Wooly. You you look at you. So the, there's an in-game taxonomy, right? There's the brute wyvern, the bird wyvern, etc. Right? Those are defined by shared skeletons. And okay. if you share a skeleton, that is infinity less work to make a different well, type of that monster. I've seen that footage of the of the mocap for the monsters. Yes, they all correct. appear to share a human skeleton of a human being no, acting that, like a jackass yes, that, rolling yeah. around on the floor. So there's that. But, like, for example, when people are talking about um, uh, uh, fucking DLC monsters that they want to see, right? Yeah. So you fought Nair Gigante at some point, at least in the demo, right? Sure. He has the same he structure. Has, he has a dive attack that shares animations with an old flagship monster called Gormagala. And he has that because he has this, all the same moving parts and his wings have the same skeleton, etc. So you look at that and you go, mm. And then you go what monsters aren't in the game mm -hmm. and are very unlikely to show up? And the mm -hmm. answer is the bugs. Mm -hmm. The bug monsters, they've even talked about it in development diaries, that we are never bringing the bugs back because the bugs require a completely unique skeleton for, for each every one, monster. Because they're they have so many moving parts, yeah. there's no way. For sure. So the, because they're like machines. So the amazing, super cool monster that you is probably the only one you ever knew before you started playing, which yeah. was the Queen Celtus. Yeah. Not gonna happen. Never gonna come back. Yep, yep, or yep. maybe like five years from now, ten years from now, kind of thing. When when they've run out of making these yeah. new gem, you models. think you think it'd be such a you know gangbusters money making franchise that they could afford whatever the fuck they wanted. You would think, but but uh, part of the reason is that because they develop like I wouldn't say frugally, but smart. So like the so with the with the thing like with the skeleton set that's in the game right now, yeah, I could give you fucking 50 monsters that could come back and and 49 of them are dragons no they're wyverns <sighs> right <laughs> yeah uh there's a couple that are dragons sure uh the fatalises i believe there's have, a have a final sure. have share some of the stuff with the uh the final boss wyverns and t-rexes and variants thereof yes yeah exactly ha just <laughs> dude all you gotta do is you take your existing okay there's here's your two types you take your existing monster your bareth right your 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 weird accordion head rock monster, all right? What do we do? We need a new monster. Make him green. He's green now. He's the Jade Bareth. He hangs out in ice areas. This, and mm -hmm. he has a couple new behaviors and attacks. Bam, so, new monster. So this is where something like Pokemon has an advantage where it doesn't actually do that much animation with each oh, one of yeah, these no, things. Oh, yeah, they, no, they, I mean, they could be sprites. Yeah, like Pokemon data, like, especially in the earlier games, was limited to, like, <laughs> weird fucking noise. 30 to 50 unique little sprite things, yeah, you totally. know? Like, it was, a, it was a minimal effort, so... Yeah, there's that, and you can make weirdos like Missigno and and and. You did, they fucking... never made Missigno. That was never no no a um 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 unknown. I meant to say rather, yeah. you can make weird things like unknowns, and you could have them be in the same world as fucking uh, waylords. I would actually want to make clarification here because every time it comes up, people like get super confused. Um, this I think this might be a Montreal or Canadian pronunciation. I don't know, but Missigno. Is the missing number Pokemon? Missing because number. I, yeah. I have seen people call it or pronounce that very differently. Really? Yeah. Well, because think about it, Missigno is just what people in our area just called it. I I vividly remember saying Missigno to somebody and just being met with the blankest fucking stare possible. No, I I always. It's not like Ermac, where everybody knows how to Ermac. Hmm. No, I never encountered anything weird with that. Everyone just said, yeah, Missigno. Yeah, so you, you only got to see smart people then. Missigno was cool. You broke your game, though. Letters are there, but yes, you did. But then you got infinite rare candies, so yeah. worth it. Um, but anyway, that, 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 that's... that's so that, oh, yeah, that was a long way to say that's why you're very unlikely to ever get dog... Uh, Certainly, dog. Palicos. But then, but then, when you run down that list, right? I'm like, but you don't. Cats are not even silver. 
on that on that like who I'd want as the buddy hunter because you go right after dogs you go straight to hunting birds oh hunt, yeah hunting hawks you want a bird falconers man yeah but bird, mamaha well okay well one it's gonna have to be poppy it's then gonna, mamaha I, and then we figure out the rest it's, you're gonna have to it'll have to be an anthro bird <sighs> why can't it just because be? you have to be able to put armor on it yeah, but then you can put armor on a normal bird, and then it could be like a peregrine falcon or something like that, and then you can make no. Your... It's not big enough to see because you, it's it, not big enough. It to be rides fancy on your and shoulder, nope. and it and it's it's a cool, unique thing, and you could do all this like awesome, badass stuff with different types of birds and feathers, feather colors. Well, feathers is probably a big reason why they didn't do it in the past because, like, performance budget. I mean, you know, it, it's obvious that like anyone wants a pet shop on well, their hunt. Well, it's cats, goddammit. it. Okay. You don't know what, how bad it used to be back in 3U when we had those two little fucking weirdos with the masks. Dude, I little fucking, tiki guys. Man. Instead of the cats. I'd give bronze. Bronze, I'd give it to, to uh, what's his name? What's P- Piggy? Piggo. What's the little pig called? In? The Pig and Monster Hunter world. Oh, Poogie. 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 Poogie can come. Give it to fucking Poogie. Poogies can't fight, dude. I want Poogie coming along. Poogies are too sweet. My Poogie has been color coordinated. Did you get Did you get a new ha- outfit for the Poogie? I haven't. I haven't gotten it okay, yet. Okay, so it's somewhat complex. Okay, I so, thought it would just be progress. No, in order to get Poogie outfits, do I have to play with him all the time? You must pet him every day. Oh my god! No, you have to pet him after every hunt for like ten hunts or fifteen hunts, and then once you've done that, Poogie will love you. And Poogie will run up to you after you finish quests. Ah, uh, instead of having to find him. And then you pick Poogie up. And then when you move around the environment, Poogie will shake and freak out near certain parts of the hub. And you put him down and he will get an item for you. And sometimes that item will be an outfit. You can dress him up like a little mountain climber or a sheep. Or give him a little hat. I'm already so much more invested in Poogie. Than, than, than the fucker that, that, you know, anyway. Would you ever get a pet pig? Uh, that's not practical in real life. Not where we live. But they're cute. Not where, where, where we live, but that becomes a problem in a couple of years. But, very, they're, but they're cute. Very quickly becomes a problem. But what if you got a small one? If I had a farm to live on slash go visit, then yes. But what if you got a tiny one? It would stop being tiny in a short matter there, of time. There, so they there are breeds of pig that only grow up to like dog size. But the problem is, is that unlike dog breeding, where there's all this documentation and history behind it, pig pig stuff is like, oh yeah, it's a tiny one. Yeah, yeah. here's a tiny pig for you. And you're like, this is not a tiny pig. This is a regular pig. This is a big pig. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, I mean, it, it, again, even if there are many pigs, it's like that's a, that's a whole other world of like feeding and cleaning and crazy what about shit. a skunk <sighs> could you disable it's oh black? totally absolutely yeah all pet skunks are have have their primary abilities disabled i've never heard of a pet skunk so that's crazy to they're me. they're just weird looking cats they wow. act just like cats wow they don't like scratch out and go nuts no. they're, I, v- they're very docile and friendly no kidding yeah i didn't even know that was possible hmm. but again uh, Their primary ability must yeah. be disabled, or else you will have trouble. Yeah, I mean, I, I maybe I'd go. I I think I'd lean towards like iguana. Oh, you're one of those. I weirdos. think I think they're cool, man. Iguanas I, don't have the capacity for emotion. They cannot love you. There was a super rad girl that would walk around with her iguana. Of course, there was. And I, and I was like, man, at she's my school, cool. that girl's name was Christina. She's like, cool, and she has a pet iguana, and I think it's awesome. And I was super like, hmm. You know what's interesting? I like you. Everybody, like, wary of horse girl. Extra wary of dolphin girl. Sure. Lizard girl, hey, man, you're cool. Yeah. Every time. Lizard girl has the best mixtapes. You go hang out at her place. (laughs) Absolutely. There's no question. What's up with that? Why is it horse girl weirdo, dolphin girl weirdo? Lizard girl, cool. Cause lizard girl, rat girl, cool. Yeah, cause they're cause they're they're going off the beaten path. They're going off the predictable, and they're they're appreciating. And you know, it's not probably because of a weird furry sex urge. No, exactly. They're just appreciating the awesomeness of something that gets otherwise underappreciated. And I think that is worth recognizing. I think that's like commendable. And I'm like, yeah, you're cool. I like that. Yeah. I'm a fan of that. I was friends with the lizard girl at, at my high school because I mean, she was cool. You can put them on your shoulder. They can walk next to you. Don't pet them that way or their body parts might fall off. That's, well, you know, be be smart. Obviously, know what you're dealing with. Yeah. 
But yeah, man, that was totally a thing. And there was there was um, a snake girl that used to walk around our mild neighborhood mm-hmm. too, and that was pretty cool. But it was like you know, it was like a big one, but it was obviously like like not venomous or anything like that. No, whatever. But it was like, like big fucking snake. But yeah, you just, and she just wrap it around and take it out for you know little walks and stuff. Yeah. Like, See, yeah. that might be a creepy sex thing. Yeah, snakes. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Jub Jub's fine. Oh, is that was that? <laughs> Jub Jub's fucking dead, man. You have to assume it's Jub Jub. It's always Jub Jub. Oh man, that's mm, a long time ago. Jub Jub. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. 